Dude, if I get a core, this series is over. This series is actually over if I get a core. Yeah, also, we're gonna have to make an assessment at some point of if this gear is actually good enough for what we're doing. Like, do you guys think with a plate body, I can streak to 1k with melee with this setup? That's gonna be a very important question to ask. I kind of feel like maybe, honestly. Are Banos gloves better than Dominion gloves? Um, they're not, but Dominion gloves degrade to dust. And Banos ones do not. Also, I don't think I actually have Goliath gloves unlocked. Oh my god, I was zerked! <laughs> Holy, dude. That was scary. Okay, that felt like a better kill. I also still have yet to use food, which is good. Two pages? Cool. If we get the book, by the way, I'm insta claiming it. Just want you guys to know that. The book would be so good. There we go. I'm happy with these kills. Kill arms are fine. They're not fast, but they're not like insanely slow either. I think they're serviceable. Whoa, my God. Click boxes are in... How in the world is this the Arch Glacier? Oh, no. All right, I give up on clicking. I'm just going to target cycle from here and out. That's insane. I miss Calvite King. Do you really? I don't. I'm not going to lie. Calvite King was like, it was a mental battle to not tilt after like 150 kills in the worst gear imaginable. Much rather beat a boss where we can actually make a ton of series progress. Although I do think we're going to continue upgrading our gear. I'm not just going to be camping this boss. Good kill. Good drop. On to the next one. I'm doing Slayer. Um, to get Cinderbane. So we tried out, um, we tried out the Arch Grey Sword. And it went okay, but at like 100 in Rage, I was getting 4-minute kills. Yeah, we're just looking at possible gear upgrades, and Slayer for Cinderbane seemed like a good idea. Because we're not just going to camp Arch Glacier all the way to the end zone, although I am going to do another hour tonight. We're going to do an hour of Slayer and then another hour of, uh, of Arch Glacier, I think. I'm having trouble clearing the minions with my Lance as well. There also might be some other Slayer things that could be interesting. This task is like a nothing task, though. There's nothing, nothing here for me at all. Augmentable body would be great. I just, I, I don't have one yet. We'll get one, I'm sure. If Jeff Bezos goes from zero to billionaire challenge, but keeps his mansion, is it really from scratch? Is that a comment on us not restarting our accounts? Can you imagine if we had to start off by watching Cash and I do AFK skilling for three months? No thanks. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to day one today. We've got 18 hours of wood cutting to get to level 60. We could just spin it on Treasure Hunter now. That is an idea. Now we're thinking. Oh, should I get a black mask? No. We'll see what tasks we get. If I get some tasks that I'm like, okay, I want the hit chance, then I'll get a black mask. Because we do have access to it. It's not that rare. Probably take like an hour and a half to get. All right. Let's go for a black mask. Fine by me. Totally fine by me. I fixed that bridge, but not that. Why would I have flicked? What? Why? That's, that's full on embarrassing. It really is. And there's no tie break because we're only two. Black mask! Oh my god, that took three minutes! That was too easy! Are you kidding me? Bro, that was like... That was literally three minutes. I didn't even overload. We're straight up gaming. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Well, I guess it's Ice Tell this time. It literally took me longer to get to the cave than it did to get the mask. You know what's funny? I actually have restrictions so that nobody can join my friend's chat. Um, just me and my clones. It's just a place to, you know, hang out with the clones. Any Glacier drops? Um, ask me that in four minutes and 22 seconds. Just kidding, I got minions first. Ask me that in eight minutes. How am I logged into my friend's chat twice? Um, the actual answer is I have no clue. But the, uh, the non-actual answer is... It was the only way to beat Cash in the challenge. I needed two of me to counteract his extra luck. Oh my god! Wait, let's go! Wait! Um... That's six out of the 15 we need, and that's enough to make a tier, uh, a tier 85 with tier 88 damage main hand as a flying kick switch. Bro, that's so sick! That's such a sick drop. Let's go reclaiming after the skill. Easy. Oh my goodness. Do I have the remnants? Wait, I don't, might not have the remnants. Oh, you're right. I probably don't. I need, what, 2,500? I don't think I have enough. Unless I get remnants this kill, in which case I would. Okay, ready? Watch this. 
Nope. I still think I should probably claim. You know what? It's it's actual good progress. Yeah, no, I'm gonna claim this. We'll take it. Six Dark Nihilus claimed. I think he just kind of wants to hang out. He's having a he's having a day. All right, buddy. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you down really quick. Sorry, that was probably bad wording. I'm gonna lay you down to rest. Really? Wait, that's bad wording too. I'm gonna throw you. I'm gonna stop talking. Yes, the other thing too is, so technically I need some glorious bars, right? I don't know if I want to get them today on stream or I could do them off. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, but we do need glorious bars. Either way, for right the second, those are some beautiful searing ashes. We banked four, got another six, total of 10. Should just about do the trick. As soon as we get to level 30, we can teleport out. We can make some aggro pots. And then whenever we do Slayer, which will possibly be later on in the day today, that's uh, just a good option. A quick perking thing I'm gonna do too. I'm gonna get Biting 3 because we've been on Biting 2 this entire time. We're probably not gonna get Biting 4 like Cash, which by the way, his perks are like best in slot. He's so well set up. It's kind of ridiculous. Can I get Biting 3? Just cautious? Biting 3 cautious. Thank you. My goodness. A week and a half into the challenge. I'm a proud owner of Biting 3. At this stage in the challenge, I'm pretty much locked into my melee setup, but there's one glaring hole and it's my body slot. As it currently stands, my Elder Rune Plate Body degrades every couple hours of Arch Glacier because of the sheer amount of hit splats in the hug mechanic, but is both very expensive and annoying. Elder Rune is also not augmentable, and perks would be good at this stage of the challenge. They help a lot. The four most conventional ways to get an augmentable melee body are Grardor, Vindicta, Barrows, and Mining and Smithing for Masterwork. I'm going to say that Masterwork's out because it's going to take way too long to get, but I think there's merit to each of the three other options. I think I want to spend some of the day cycling between each of those three options, and hopefully, by the end of today, we'll have some kind of augmentable melee gear. Also, look at this Vindy kill! Sub 40, 39 second kill. That is the fastest Vindy kill so far, but uh, nothing to show for it just yet. Wait, that's a Belladonna seed. Wait, that's not what I need. No, I need a Poison Ivy seed. Do Vine Sweeper. Okay, I'm up for Vine Sweeper. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Thank you for the poison ivy seed. Alrighty, so now all I do is my farming cape, plant this bad boy, and we're gaming. Also, I'm so interested in kill times. His gear has taken him 20 hours longer than mine to get. So the question is, was it worth the time for him? Or is kill times actually that much faster than mine? That was a slow kill. Oh my god! Um. Yeah, that's a claim. <laughs> okay. What in the world? Alrighty, we now have eight Dark Nihilus of the 15 total that we need. Three years in. Oh my god! This challenge is over. This challenge is actually over. Cash is resetting his death level. It's actually over. It's actually over. It's literally actually over. It's not even funny. I'm calling Cash. This challenge is over. We have spooned the crap out of this. Like, so aggressively. We've done... How many kills have I even done? I think I've done less than 50 kills to have eight Nihilus. Okay, well, this might not be completely over, but, uh... Oh, there's still a chance. It's not there's over still it's over. a chance, but that is looking pretty good for me. Going to quickly Dude, how claim do you spoon a these I know, this is crazy. Even for me, this is crazy. Like, it really is. Not what I expected to see happen. But I don't have any remnants. I only have 1,500. I need like 10,000 remnants. We just, we soccer mobbed it. We really soccer mobbed it. I would say that things are looking pretty good because the core is the hardest thing to get. It's kind of like the original Tales from Scratch where I got a dormant right away. And that was the thing that ended up finishing off Cash. Cash, if you guys remember, ended up with four orbs, but he did not get his dormant. Um... So yeah, I am. Yeah, dude, what do you mean? I have eight Nihilus already. I got two on a two kill streak at like seven and rage. So I am feeling pretty good about this, but we're still gonna have to do some streaking. I can't believe I just got a freaking core. This has been cash luck. But now all that has to happen is I go 400 dry Nihilus and I'm doomed. You know what, dude? I'm I'm feeling pretty confident still. What? How could you possibly be confident? Because you still gotta get the remnants, man. I feel like the remnants should not be the hard part. Okay, I have not talked to you about this, but my chat loved it. So, 
One of, I'm not gonna name names, but when I was doing the peg, someone wrote me with like a super long in-depth idea for a range buff. And it was, are you ready? A yeah. Chinchampa rocket launcher. Wait, it's yo, tier 90. We, you we, load you the chin on your stream. and then just boom. Can you imagine? Come on. What a freaking great idea. I was Come in your stream on. when you were talking about it. it yeah. Great. A Chinchampa launcher. You could Wait, just... What's better, dude? Chin send or Inchindery? Inchindery shot? I kind of like Inchindery. <laughs> I'm going to call it that next time. <laughs> next time I got Luca on a call, I'll be like, hey, any tips for doing Inchindery? <laughs> I'm, really, I'm pretty new to it. I've never done it before. He's going to look at me like I'm actually insane. Dude. Someone in my chat just said, yo, does Ryan not know the answer to all the Barra's door puzzles? Don't put me on blast. <laughs> look, one of them's really... The one with the little things is just... Uh, look. Look. <laughs> Dude, I'm it got sorry. me the other day because they changed the color of the icon. It's <laughs> difficult. Don't really? make fun of me. I'm trying my best over here. I expect Ryan, honestly, this is the sort of thing I expect Ryan to do. What? Is to just keep spam clicking on the door until he gets the puzzle where it's the square. <laughs> That's literally what I do. Wait. <laughs> <It's absolutely laughs> of course. Wait. <laughs> my, 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 my kitchen has two sinks. What the? Yeah, a big sink and a little sink. What's the little sink for? Uh, small people. <laughs> the little sink's literally just for you. It's just for me. <laughs> it's the only one I can reach. <laughs> so, this number on screen, these are the odds of going the amount of Barrows runs I've done without a single item of any kind. <laughs> um, so, yeah, about... There's about a 99% chance of me having had a drop by now. Well, that's fine. Get on top of the fact. Yeah, I'm not. Not mailing it. Wait. Wait. Okay, I want to add a new parameter to my stream. Just because there's a possibility of it happening. So I know I said I wouldn't end unless I got a Barrow's drop. Second qualifier. If I literally die, I'm allowed to end stream. It is statistically almost impossible to go this dry. Do the arrow puzzle. I don't know how. As some of you may know, we got ourselves a frozen core of Lang, which is absolutely sick. That is a massive, massive drop. That's the most important drop in the entire series. Now, Yesterday, I did about three hours of straight Barrows runs. And in that full three hours, I managed to get one singular Barrows item, which was Aram's Pants, which I can't really do anything with. Except, what if I could do something with them? What if I could turn those Aram's Pants and a couple other ingredients that we've been cooking up in the kitchen in order to get ourselves an augmentable plate body? Now, I'm intentionally not saying an augmentable melee plate body for one specific reason. Ice Telos, you have 100% a chance anyway. So what if we were to use a Sun Spear and our brand new Arab's Pants, go to the Polyport Dungeon, get ourselves a Ganodermic Top, and then in the act of ultimate disrespect, we beat Cash in the challenge wearing a Ganodermic Top while meleeing. Sun Spear, switch style over to a magic staff, just like that. Aram's probe skirt on. May as well, get rid of those. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Is there any all type gear I have? Not really. I think we're just gonna go like this. <laughs> when you're looking at tank gear, like it literally, I just got 54 prey pots. <laughs> that is 5,000 Ganodermic Flakes. I believe if I do this out of combat, I should have myself a beautiful, Ganodermic Poncho. Okay, absorbent of four. Here we go. Thank you. <clears throat> What's he even doing again? 20% chance to attack or 5% rank. I feel like that's okay, actually. I think it'll be nice on like spooky frost cannons and stuff. We're going to throw absorbent of four on there. And the next perk we need is crackling four. Why am I maging now? Just because I didn't want to melee here and have to run around. Ranger to work too. It just doesn't really matter. I'm pretty much one shotting them. Yeah, magic is just good attack range. That is a hand cannon. That took uh, two minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna go out the door, just like we did in the original Tales from Scratch. 
and see if we can get the perk we need, which is one magic component, seven explosive components, and thank you in advance for crackling four. Let's go. <laughs> this is... I remember in the original, I was here for like a full day. Bro, I look like such a Chad. Just look at him. Don't splash. Please don't splash. I'm not splashing at all. We're good. We're actually good. I think I just hit a vault without a one because of the Gano top. Wait, I like I did not ingen there. This feels so calculated. There's no way Cash can compete with this. There's no way. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't love that. The minion's invisible! The minion is completely invisible! What? There's still a minion! Jagex! <laughs> Uh, that's definitely a streak, but that's funny, man. Yeah, no, that's a streak. I can't do anything with that, because I don't have any gloves I could upgrade. Yeah, no. That's probably a similar drop rate to the book, too, so that's a little unlucky, but it happens. We'll take it. That was almost bad. Still, no incidents. Look at all the crystal keys. Holy. And we continued at $3.99. My minion senses are tingling, so I'm just going to wait here. Dude, have I been wrong yet? Oh, sh I'm going to die. Oh, my God. We're fine. Bro, I got to be so careful. Oh, Revenant. Wait, that was like nothing. That was so few. I'm actually worried about this, man. That was like 900 Revenants. Oh, boy. I must have min rolled. Alrighty, decent kill in under five minutes. That is what we needed. That is exactly what we needed. We now have 2,580 remnants in the chest. Ooh. Goodbye, boss. Oh my goodness. Almost out of food here, but we are going to get some higher explode tips and we are going to continue the streak to 504% in rage. Why do you want this weapon anyway? It's simple. Your allies are losing the battle, and without the battle, I have no souls to escort. Providing them with this weapon will prolong the Elder God Wars and prolong my usefulness in this realm. Sounds like someone needs us in order to keep your job. You are not incorrect, and as per the contract you both signed, I am allowed to provide you with some help. I didn't think I'd need to, but you're both proving to be less intelligent than I initially thought. It's been weeks, and you're still using Chaotix? Are you even trying? I'll allow each of you to claim one item from my coffers, but only if you can prove yourselves to me. This, you have both yet to do. Before you leave, I found these necklaces in my junk drawer. I hear they can harness the power of other weapons, but these ones here are empty. Do with them what you wish, for I have no need for such trinkets. So yeah, I got an EUF, which is gonna help a little bit. Unfortunately for me, it's gonna help Cash a lot more than it helped me because he's actually ranging, so he can put a dark bow in his. I am effectively using it as a glorified amulet of souls, but that was the reward for reaching 500% in rage on a streak. And hopefully that makes things a little bit easier to get to 1K. Oh, look at us go. Dude, this is going so well. Wait, this is sick. This is actually the run. This entire... And I got the seed back. <laughs> There's actually no shot. Um, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh they're attacking me because I have no... <laughs> okay. We didn't use any food, which is good. The thing that is less good is the, the kill time we are going to have to work on because at this rate, if we keep pushing, we're going to start getting like five kills an hour. And that is not a place we want to be. I am certain of that. Did I try a Krassi? I didn't. Oh my God, I'm lagging. Oh my, Jagex, no, don't do this. Oh, this could be really bad. I do not want to lose this streak. But yeah, the Bruiser for even higher in rage, by the way. Because before 1K, we're going to run into problems for sure. And when that happens, that is when I'll upgrade to Bruise. Ooh, wait, that's not a lot of remnants. 
I was so I was expecting with this streak that we'd get like 5k remnants in one drop. I think we keep min rolling. That's still really good progress, but we're min rolling hard on the remnants right now. That's so rude. Um, oh shit, I signed. What did I sign to? Just a regular auto? Oh no. I'm fine. Ha! That almost took me out. I had to A-pop for that. That was stressful. It wasn't great at all. Um, look at all the salvage. That's crazy. But we gotta continue. We're at a 50 kill streak now. About at 600 rage. I really thought that was something, man. Alrighty. We've killed boss. Nihilus time? Ooh, 4,900 remnants. Let's go. Okay, that's huge. Um, how many is that gonna be when I die? It's still gonna be a good bit. So now we have a total of... Assuming I claim this, we'll have like 6,500 of the 10k we need. I honestly would still prefer a book to a Nihilus drop at this point. And maybe I'm going to regret saying that and get like eight books. But like, think about how great the book would be on the minions. It would actually just be game changing. Oh my god! <laughs> it's too easy. Okay. Uh, well, first things first, we're going to claim that. We got a broadcast for the artifact. What a sick chest! Oh, uh, just when the kills were getting really, really bad too. 20 Nihilus, one core. All we need is the remnants to win this thing. It's going to be hard for me to lose this. I'm not going to lie. This this may not even be close. This could be a trouncing at this point. Uh, I have done more kills at Archglacier than Cash. The whole strategy, it's funny too, because I look really smart with the way I did it. I, we haven't won yet, but assuming that we do, because, you know, good chance we do. Here's the thing. The core drop rate is like one in 600, right? I've done like 140 kills or so. Like in the time it would take me to get to 600 kills with my kill times, Cash is probably in a similar amount of kills to me. So we kind of took a risk to get an early core and because we did, it paid off in dividends, in spades. Okay, it has taken a ton of time to get to this point, way longer than I thought it would. But uh, I now have 100 of every type of basic bar, which means we can start folding our concentrated ally bar, enrich it, Immaculate, and then we will, in the end, eventually have two beautiful, glorious bars that we can use to make ourselves a tier uh, a tier 85 that does, I think, tier 88 damage. We'll then need to get some more remnants, make it a tier 95, and then we should have this challenge in the bag. We have an absolutely massive lead. I don't want to lose it. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm not going to, you know, do anything crazy. I'm not going to attempt to throw for content. We are just going to park this thing. Okay, we have been folding for far too long. We have two glorious bars. We have Blackstone Hearts. We have Dark Nihilus, and we are going to make ourselves a Dark Ice Shard. I've got the Nihilus. I've got the core. All we need is the remnants. If we can get to 7,500 remnants, that's ball game over. We're done. Remnants on the second kill. Get in. More remnants. Let's go. Ooh, speaking of remnants, let's go. Three hits on the drop table in seven kills. What boss is this? This is the Arch Glacier. Swinscape's second scalable boss. It scales to Dude. Remnants! Wait, we're so close. We're actually so close. That was 1,700 remnants. Okay, I'm going to claim that right there. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're 200 away. Is it time? Nope. This boss is so monotonous. Can I just say, this is like, because I'm doing low and rate, this is the most monotonous PDM experience I've ever had in my life. Like, I'm barely even paying attention to the boss at this point. Oh my god, it didn't. Sorry guys, I gotta do something really quick. Callus. We go into your chat history. Congratulations on a single iconics. Callus, thank you so much for the grats. You're bad. I miss them already. Tank the frost can into the face. Get the rep. Yes! Let's go to sleep. To sleep. We're going to sleep. How in the world did I go three hours dry on... Bro, I am happy about this in a core. I'm happier than, I don't know, my firstborn son getting into college. No, 312 remnants. Get me the hell out of here. There's no way that took that long. I'm done. I'm free. I'm free. Team Cash. I've been freed. Click on those. Click on those. Click on those. Click on that. Click on that. <laughs> I'm making a dormant because I'm going too fast. Click on that. And... That is a wrap for Ice Telos from scratch. I have a brand new, beautiful, dark shard of light. Worth noting when you reset your defense level. Unfortunately, he is going to lose 200 million defense XP, as well as 80 quests. 
Heads, he resets. Safe, tails. Are you ready? In three, in two, in one. Oh my god! <laughs> A 50-50, Mr. Cash could not win. Unfortunately for him, means we will be taking his defense level. That right there is an immaculate dub. You may bestow the chat with an F. You took Cash away from us. I will never forgive you. <laughs> oh no. It's finally done. I have your weapon. Providing your allies with a weapon of this power has ensured the Elder God Wars will rage on for many months to come, far past their expected date. Future fronts may even have to be delayed in order to ensure the eventual success of the attackers. Wait, did we just... Delay the Elder God Wars release? You have my thanks, adventurers. I'll now be able to survive long past the summer of 2020. Should we tell them they're planning on reducing death costs? Not a chance. Just get out of it. And so the challenge concluded. Cash did, in fact, reset his defense level to one. But fortunately, you can go from one to 99 death in about an hour and a half if you know what you're doing. His comp cape, on the other hand, he still doesn't have back to this day. Some say he may never reobtain the defeater title, but the thing that was hurt most was undoubtedly his pride. We freaking rolled him, dude. 